Morning folks, um, just here on a, a field of winter wheat, uh, setting the goose decoys up. Uh, we ferreted here yesterday and uh, a couple of hundred grey lags on it and maybe an odd Canada. Um, we saw them as well, I think on uh, two days last week, the day we came here pigeon shooting they were on. And uh, uh, we did not see them on another day when we were scouting. Uh, so, you know, we're hopeful. Well, we did, they did get off yesterday about half past one whilst we were ferreting. And uh, we'd, after we'd finished ferreting, we did come and we watched the field for a while. And we were watching it maybe about th uh, three in the afternoon and the geese were actually coming back on. There was maybe five good lots came back on. So Sam's just setting the deeks here. Just see it starting to get light behind Sam. They can maybe see it actually, folks, in the, even through the video. Right, I'm going to go and get the hide done. Well, let Sam do the hide, otherwise it won't be right. Just got with us today Mr Tide, who sat on the decoy bag just to keep his bum nice and warm and dry. Mr Tide's been very naughty recently, haven't you Tide? Yes. Sam shot a pink foot the other night on our high pond. First pink foot we've shot on there. And uh, Mr. Tide had a hundred yard retrieve out across the pond, well, it's a four acre pond, and uh, lost him in, in the bog, which is a really nasty little spot. Uh, we've had people disappear in there up to their armpits, and we thought we'd lost Tide, only to find him um, eating a pink foot, so he wasn't very popular. I don't know what possessed him. Uh, just got Sam here now, he's just building the hide. You maybe see we've already got one hide net on. He's just putting another one over the top of it. We just like the two, two, uh, two hide nets, contrasting colours, uh, which we just find works well for us. You'll see he's using one of these. What the call? I don't know. They call them stealth nets, ghost nets, and all sorts of bits and pieces that you can actually, you can actually see through from the back. But despite what people say, even though it's against a hedge, you can still see through from the front, if, particularly if you get the sun behind you. So we use a backing net on it as well of a contrasting colour, and that's what Sam's just put in there. Uh, bucket seats with us, uh, just there, um, and nothing else really, say dogs, decoy bag, a dog tether for Mr Tide, who's six year old, but he just behaves like a... Uh, uh, I don't know what you'd describe him as. He's just an idiot. He's just simply never grown up, hasn't tied. Uh, so that's hide done. Deeks are just out there. Obviously, you won't be able to see them. Just see it starting to get light in the distance there. So uh, let's see what happens. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> How are we doing them up there? So come down. Yeah. Got all the time to get a jam. Oh, fucking got all the time to get a jam. Dad, I got two in one shot. Got four. <laughs> oh, got all the time to get a jam. Oh, in fact, Dad, I got two in one shot. Got four. Come on, crack on. That was good retrieve. 
Are you showing me a little goose? That oh, I meant that. <laughs> I was just going to cover you. That was a good shot. I mean, how long's that? 50, 40 yards? You said the back deco is 35. Let me send Remy for that. For, she, she, for she, a she, three, yeah. that's a good shot. Right here. Let me see. Right here. Come here. I think you were quite surprised they hit that. Come on, Rem. I'm what have you What have you filmed anyway? Because there's grass in front of me. Bloody lens, isn't there? Remy! Oh, hey, Remy! Remy, fetch it here! Psst, having a chew on with that. Remy! Here! We've got hold of it by its ass. Okay, yeah. Come on, Rem. Probably been more than 150, would there? Yeah, maybe. Because I reckon there was nearly 75 or 100 in that quite big scheme, wasn't there? Mm -hmm. No, that big scheme that went through there. Then I think we've had four, there's been four other schemes. Four or five other little schemes of 15s and 20s. I reckon there's probably been two to 250. for cold. <laughs> you can shoot for it. <laughs> Stop moving your hands. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Tide. Tide, come on. Good lad. Good lad. Here. Come on. Come on. All right, we're just having a square up here. Uh, some of these are absolute whoppers. Um, which, which, which is uh, why we name them bread lags. Um, yeah, they're what are called feral grey lags, so they're not they're not migratory wild grey lags. The ones that will be living, I mean, these particular ones will be living on gravel pits and local lakes um, through the summer months and breeding there. But there's some absolute say, monsters amongst them. They're as big as Canada. Some of these, no wonder my little um, my little dog struggled away carrying them. Tied here. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a good job done though. They were just coming onto this um, onto this winter wheat is what they've been on. We've watched them on here for a week and they have built up. It's decent numbers have been on here and got to the stage where something needed to be done with them. We've left them for a while. What they've actually been doing is it's really strange. It's an old potato field. Is this from many years ago? Potatoes have um, are just subsurface. The damn geese have been digging the potatoes up. And as they've been digging the potatoes up, we were having a look, we came and had a look yesterday, been scratching away, and as they've dug the potatoes up, they're pulling the, they're pulling the winter wheat up as well, uh, pulling the roots up. So for every potato they pull up, they go and drag a load of uh, winter wheat plants up as well. So that's where they've been doing quite a bit of damage. That's a finger three. 
Yeah, yeah he's got them all there, packed up now, all the deeks. Sort the birds out. Final count was actually 13. I was wrong on there. I thought we'd got 12. I thought we'd shot six each. Um, but uh, I've forgotten there that Sam hit two with one shot. When the last lot came in, um, he shot a triple out, but he actually knocked far down. Um, two with one shot. So we ended up with one more than we intended. Uh, geese are still coming in, you can't really see that, but they're still coming in the bottom end of this field. And we've been packing up for half an hour now and there's still a few geese trickling in. Um, so there is a lead in. Um, so we'll have to keep an eye on them and see whether they keep off the field or not. I can't you can see it. there the, the size difference. Old gander there and a relatively young one and another huge one. I mean, they're absolute whoppers of those. <coughs> and that's maybe, I wouldn't even say that that one there's a young un. I would say that's still an old un, but they've had uh, probably quite long lives, these around here. I mean, head on it, I don't know if you could see, you could see Sam's foot next to it before. If you look at Sam's foot next to it, it looks like a bloody head on it. Another absolute one. whopper. I mean, that's no. probably your normal size grey leg compared to like that. So there'll be, um, some people are calling them fork benders, but no, they'll still go into, this one here. they'll still, um, this one here. they'll still go into wraps and bits and pieces like that. Where? Where are you? There's geese there. you can't see through video cameras. Just geese, the field, geese yeah. going into the top end of the field now. You can't see through video camera because of the sun. They'll be back on here in an hour. So we'll be shooting them in the morning, dear lads. What are you sulking at? Huh? Remington's got a bit of a sulk on. Because Mr Tide went and picked her, pinched her first retrieve and she got a bit of a bit of a telling off because she sent a hide pole flying and a GoPro flying. Definitely sulking. Um, <laughs> she's got a bit of a sulk on. Mr. Tide hasn't got a sulk on. He couldn't give a, a monkey's. You alright, Rem? Rem, Rem! Rem, Rem! Don't sulk. Rem, Rem! Don't sulk. Dad's not cross with you. Rem! That's not cross with you. That's not cross with you, you know. You didn't do anything wrong. It's just that nasty Mr. Tide went and pinched your goose, didn't he? And we were shouting at Mr. Tide, we weren't shouting at you.